Hello, this is Crafty Scraps here, and today we are doing something interesting. A Great Tech New Horizons Player's Guide to the Logistics Pipes. Yeah, for starters, what is Logistics Pipes? Logistics Pipes, as in the name, a logistics mod based around pipes. Yeah, it, also, it's a really, really, really old mod that I think I never seen the first release. I've been, I've been playing modded Minecraft since beta, ages, and yeah, logistics pipes always there. So those are industrial craft and build craft too. Yeah, that's build craft too. Build also build craft, I mean. Anyway, uh, let's start with the logistics pipes. But, for a small note, this mod tutorial and mod spotlight, uh, whatever you want to call it, is mostly focused on uh, Great Tech New Horizons. If something is different on your instance, on your mod pack with logistics pipes, it's probably because of that. Because we are currently focusing on the logistics pipes inside the Great Tech New Horizons mod pack. So you are currently looking at my test environment for testing different things on logistics pipes uh, before my uh, doing actual, on my actual gameplay world. But before we continue with our Logistics Pipes uh, tutorial, we have to clarify something. What is Logistics Pipes use in a mod pack that also has Applied Energy Sticks? It's a good question, and it's actually interesting. In, mod pack, uh, in a mod pack like GTNH, it, there's an actual use for Logistics Pipes. First use is Logistics Pipes can be entered on the low voltage age. So uh, when you start having circuits and ele basic electricity, and when you have your basics need covered in that area, you can start with logistics pipes. And you have a functional system, a functional sorting system on your hands. So that's the first part. And second part is for small, networks, small uh, areas, small systems, it can be quite useful and it can be really compact and really cheap on both energy and resources. And with full logistics capabilities of logistics pipes, you have to wait for a, yeah, a late extreme voltage, early insane voltage. So yeah, during that time, you will have painful uh, time uh, with uh, uh, all the crafting, all the sorting, etc. So Logistics Pipes handles that part relatively well. So let's look at the basics of Logistics Pipes. First, you're going to need a power junction because all, all the powerful Logistics mods requires power. You can put any type of power you uh, in this mod pack. So it's either a GT, Great Tech EU or uh, RF. There's also IC2 EU, but it's not irrelevant in this pack. Yeah, you have this. Let's put this guy. And as you can see, the buffer is filling up. So next part is you need pipes. The first part pipe you're gonna make is unrotted transport pipe, which is the dummy pipe. Super, super dummy pipe, and the cheapest one. You're gonna use th this guy a lot, and try to make the most expensive recipe you can make, because it will give you more yield per uh, materials. Let's try to connect this guy to this. It doesn't, because Unrooted logistics pipes only connects other pipes to other pipes. You need basic logistics pipes to connect this guy. So our network starts. And let's do this. For entering the inventory of pipe, configuration inventory, you need to right click with a wrench. Any wrench will be okay, but since you are playing GTNH, use a great tech wrench. And as you can see, we have something, requested items and default route. We will teach you that now. But first, let's try something interesting. 
we make a junction. And the unrouted transport pipe is angry at us. Because unrouted transport pipes is dumb. They do not handle any uh, transfer. They only get orders from the other pipes that, for example, this basic pipe says, says to, uh, send this item to this direction. Yeah, it uh, sends, but in here, it doesn't know. So if something comes from here and it needs to go there, it's in a 50-50 chance goes there or there. If it bounces back, to, uh, bounces here, it will bounce back here uh, to this path, but it will either go here or here. So it can be uh, in an infinite loop. To solve this problem, you just need to put a basic logistics pipes because basic logistics pipes can t uh, communicate with other pipes and then they will uh, tell each other what they need. Now, what we're going to do is a basic uh, sorting system. Let's put four basic pipes here and four chests. As you can see, unrooted logistics pipes doesn't connect to chests, but basic, basic ones connect. And let's say, let's get an this ore, this thing. I put this guy here. Now, what we're going to need is another pipe. We're going to need a chassis pipe. Chassis pipe is something too interesting. It doesn't do anything by itself. And it has five uh, versions. First version is Mark 1. It only has one module slot. Two, three, four, and five. Four and five. Let's look at the first. One slot, two slot, three slot, four slot, and eight slot. Yeah, and as you can, uh, as I already told, they are dummy. They do not handle anything at all. They only uh, a holder for modules, and modules there are a bunch of. What we're gonna need is an extractor module. Not yeah, the extractor module and a chest. We can put modules in those pipes with right-clicking on them, and as you can see, they are here. Extractor module is something that puts item in the network, and it doesn't put anything yet. Uh, yes, it started. Uh, the Mark One extractor module is super slow. Uh, it's useful for small uh, machines that need uh, sometimes puts an output, but on the other hand, it is slow. It is super slow. You need to upgrade it as soon as possible. For speed, you need a gold upgrade chip. And if you want to get Mark III, you need a diamond upgrade chip, which is expensive and opens at the HV era. So, yeah. For low voltage, you're gonna suffer a bit. In medium voltage, you're gonna have a much, much, much better time. In high voltage, you're gonna have an excellent time. Let's look at the Mark One, Mark Two, and Mark Three. And by the way, a good thing about logistic pipes is you see the items flying by. And I will do this. Okay, let's put the Mark II extractor. It's much, much faster. And, but it's still slower. So let's look at the Mark III. It is super fast. Yeah. As you can see, it is uh, faster than we can imagine. And since we put this guy here, it knows where it's, it needs to go. But, for example, let's take this guy and put it here. It doesn't pull. 
because it doesn't know where it should go. But if we, for example, set up this guy here, it will go directly to it. Nice. And for example, if we get this guy, I want to do something interesting. I don't want to make any uh, route for it. I just want a default route. Yeah, this chest is default route true. And if we put it here, it goes there. Default route means uh, it's the last uh, place. Uh, if system knows uh, doesn't know anything about this item, it puts directly to the default route. So it default you can uh, think as it as a overflow chest, uh, overflow route or uh, unknown route. Yeah, there is also one other alternative to extractor module, which is quick sort module. There is a small difference between extractor and quick sort. Let's show it. It doesn't move. Why? Because quick quick sort doesn't know if uh, doesn't pushes any item. By the way, quick sort uh, searches by slot by slot. And you can see the slots here. Quicksort doesn't pull any item that doesn't exist in the network or doesn't program it in the network itself. So if it's not sure, it doesn't pull anything. So it, it ignores the default route. It can be useful for some systems. It, it will be useful a system that is highly sophisticated and highly pre-programmed. It is fast, it is cheaper, but it is uh, it ignores the default route. So for basic sorting, it is a bit use useless. So just try to make the highest possible extractor module you can make. So those are our basic sorting. Yeah, and as you can see, there are a limited number of items that we can put into the this area and also one more thing is let's delete this and you stay here i want to uh, program uh, e more easily there are already items in the chest so i want to program it just use import and it will detect any item that exists in the chest and put it in its inventory uh so as I already told you, we those guys are a bit limited. Uh, in as, as in the name, it's basic logistics pipes. What we also have is item sync module. Item sync module is something interesting. It is exactly as basic logistics pipes, but with one difference. You need to put it in chassis pipes, and there can be multiples. Of it so you can sort any number of items in this guy and it ex acts exactly as the basic logistic pipes even with the default root part there's also a modified version of uh, item sync module which is polymorphic item sync polymorphic item sync is a bit different and I will show you here. Polymorphic item sync. Let's look at the inventory and it there it doesn't have any configuration. How it works. And let's get some pyrite ore and put it here. And get more pyrite ore and put it here. It goes, it doesn't go to the default route. It goes to here. Polymorphic item sync is a bit smarter. It detects whatever item exists in its connected inventory and pulls from it. Pulls directly from it. So, it's actually a super cool way of sorting. That you put items in your inventory and you just put polymorphic item syncs there. And it will handle everything. 
you sometimes need a more sophisticated thing. So oh, in this case, you can use basic I or item sync. Using item sync is much more beneficial because you use with chassis pipes. So you can use more than one function for per chest and per actually the pipe. So what what is this function that we are talking about? Yeah, request logistics pipes. It is, as in the name, you can request item from your network. But it doesn't see anything yet. Why? Why it doesn't see anything? It's simple. You need to put one more thing to your system, which is the provider module. If we put provider module here, and it, as you can see, it is like this. We don't need to configure anything on this guy, but we can see our pyrite ore. So for sorting purposes, try to use Logistics Pipes Mark IIs as much as possible and use item sync modules and import, import and default route. Yes, with that, we can see anything in our system with our thingy magic key. And if we do this, if we want, for example, uh, by the way, these guys are pluses and minuses. Plus, uh, the single plus is uh, adds one to the item count. Two pluses adds 10. Three pluses adds a stack. And if you do that, as you can see, all the things are requested to our request chest. Voila! We have a basic inventory management. So, what is the next level of it? We have a small upgrade to request logistics pipes. Yeah, it's, by the way, request logistics pipes is done in MV. So you will have this guy in MV, but in early MV. And after that, you can upgrade it to this guy, as long as you have polyethylene. And if we get it, let's look at this guy. It's nearly exactly the same as this, this guy, fella. But with, by the way, you don't need a wrench to connect to this guy, but you need a wrench to connect to this guy. If you do this, yeah, it requests this. And if we put this, it sorts. So it's both requesting and sorting. And it's also a crafting table. Okay, we put things uh, for basic motor. If we try to use this recipe and do this, it will ask the most likely, this is the one it is more easily accessible for your system. And if I do this, it will pull every item that required for this recipe, and I can simply craft it. And if I put the press this, it will pull ten of uh, each item that gonna required, and it will go to the yes. So yes, this is the quick this guy. Also, if I look at our provider module, we have this. Think. Yeah, if we put uh, our provider module on normal, uh, for example, if we want to take every single uh, wire here, we will. But if we put our, if we want to put it back on our system, it will go to the default route because this guy forgets about this. But Let's change the setting. Leave the first stack. 
And if I do this again, six left. If I want to take the last six, no, it doesn't. Ah, sorry. Uh, the first stack is only the first stack. So we need to the last stack, first and last stack. Yeah, leave one per item. Yeah, if you look at this now, and we have, we only can take so much. Uh, let's take into, and there are one per each left, and so we can't see the rest. So yeah, and also if we do this, we can access the last one, one per item type. So it will leave one item per type, uh, per item type, in the system. So we can just leave it on this setting, and we can be good. We don't need to put those guys in back any time. But it's a down. Uh, the downside is you need to keep one guy, a uh, one item, in here. It can be a benefit or a detriment. So with that, we actually have all the basics of basic sorting and inventory management with logistics pipes. There's also one more thing that you need to t uh, take a good look that it actually can be seen here. As you can see, there are red dots in both sides, also one orange dot in one side. That means this, is, this pipe is only connected to this chest and we can change it with wrench. And now if I want to put anything to the sorting system that is unknown, it will go to here because it's the connected inventory. As now I cannot see the talc because I changed the orientation again. And I can, uh, Rosset Nickel, sorry. And I can see now. So, if we want, don't want the visual glee, uh, indicator for it, we are in East. We have one more thing upgrades, disconnection upgrades. Disconnection upgrades are directional, but you can change direction with a single screwdriver. So it's not a, a huge issue. And this is East. So if I put this guy here, it disconnects us. So yeah, but we can take, uh, see the upgrades in his, here. In this case, we need this guy. It is actually small, uh, cheap, relatively cheap. And let's look at this guy. With this guy, we can see upgrade slots, security, we will get to that. Uh, the stats and other things about this. We can also see same thing with this guy too. And this guy too. And basic pipes. And we can change the render of... Yeah, uh, if you wa uh, ha want to have nostalgia, you can <laughs> take that. Anyway, this is the basics of logistics pipes. Next episode, we will handle, we will see the provider and, and not the provider. Ah, yeah, uh, we see the provider, but we need the supplier and uh, requesting part. So. This is Grafty and have a nice day.